Hey kids, welcome back to Learn with Maktum. In this video, we will discuss Second Standard EVS lesson number 6 that is Varieties of Food. So, first, let's see some difficult words food, grains, vegetables, meat, milk. Plants, animals, raw, cooked, carnivores, herbivores. So I am going to see these words in the chapter. Okay. Let's see the chapter. So in this lesson, you are going to understand, you are going to identify the food items available through plants and animals and also you are going to see different food habits at home and we will name some food which we eat raw and cooked and we are going to see the utensils which are used for cookings and also you will recognize the food of the animals. So kids here look at the food grains and vegetables given below say where they are got from so you can see here firstly rice wheat maize jawar dal green gram ragi millet beetroot banana bengal gram cabbage cucumber brinjal potato snake guard lady's finger Pumpkin, bitter guard, radish, greens, tomato, mango, apple. So kids, all these plant, all these grains, vegetables, and fruits which I named, we are going to get them from plants. Yes. So look at the picture safe from where we get these items. So here eggs, meat, fish and milk. Where we get these from? We get these from animals. Yes or no kids? So we get food from plants and animals. Some pictures of food items are given below. Put a dot in green color for the food we get from plants. Put a dot in red for the food we get from animals so here kids firstly rice we get from plant yes so we have to give green dot here we have to give green dot yes then fish we get from whom we get from animal so we have to give red dot so like this we have to use green dot for plants red dot for animals yes so brinjal we get from plants yes so we have to use green dot pea lady's finger chili black pepper cucumber greens maize tea ragi all these we get from plants so give green dot then coming to milk meat curd we get from animals so you give red dot okay clear with this moving on to the next write the food items you see at home in the following groups food materials obtained from plants Food materials obtained from animals. Yes. So I hope now you can uh, able to write this because we read some of the food materials which we get from plants in the first page itself. So go through that first page and second page and write these answers. Okay. And kids here you can observe this is a vegetable. Yes. Which vegetable is it? It is a hell it is healthy and it is eaten raw. This is what? It is a carrot. Yes, no. It is a 
carrot. Yes. Then second one, it is very tasty. If it is eaten raw, what it is? It is a tomato. Yes. Tomato. Then it is little hot, but people like to eat it raw. What it is? It is a radish. Yes. Then, if you eat it daily, you will be healthy. What it is? It is apple. Yes or no? Then, you will be happy if it is in your meal. It is a snake guard. Yes. Then, lastly, everybody likes it. It is very tasty. That is banana. Yes or no? Name the food item you eat raw. So you can mention the food items which you eat raw means uncooked. Those are like cucumber, radish, banana, and you eat all the fruits raw. Yes or no? Orange, yeah, mango. You eat raw. Yes or no? So we eat some of the food items in their raw state. Yes or no? Okay. Name five food items which you eat raw and five cooked items you eat. So raw items like I said already: cucumber, radish, carrot, yes, orange, pineapple. Yes, you can mention those here. And the food items which you eat, which you cook and eat, like rice. Yes, dal, yeah. So, fish, meat. Yes, we will cook and eat. Yes or no? So you have to write those here. It is good for health to eat vegetables like carrot, radish, and cucumber raw. Uh, but while eating, before eating, you should wash them. Okay. So I have mentioned here carrot, radish, cucumber, carrot, apple, banana, potato, cauliflower, ladies finger, spinach. All those you have to cook and eat. With that you can add meat, yes, rice, dal. Okay. So here collect small pictures of different food materials classify them and paste them in the space provided food materials obtained from the plants fruits vegetables flour tea coffee all we get from the plants then from animals we get beef pork egg milk chicken yes so you can attach the picture also if you want small pictures you can attach like some small picture of any fruit or vegetable or flour or tea or coffee you can attach a small small pictures okay so here kamala and raju have their breakfast before coming to school they have lunch in the afternoon along with their friends they eat fruits after going home from school, then they engage themselves in studies. All the members of their family sit together and have dinner. So, kids, you here you see four words. Yeah. So, breakfast we do in the morning. This is the morning time we eat food that is called as breakfast. In the afternoon, we eat food that is called as a lunch. In the evening, you will having snacks. Then lastly, in the night, you will have dinner. Okay. So write the food habits of your family in two sentences. So you can write about your food habits in two sentences. Means you can say like I eat idli as a breakfast. I eat rice sambar as lunch. Yes. Like that you can you have to write two sentences. Okay. Then. Name the three dishes that are prepared in your house. You can write anything like you can say idli, vada, dosa, chapati, roti. 
rice, dal, anything you can write, okay? Where do you have your lunch? With whom do you eat? What do you eat? So here it is a question for you kids. Where do you have lunch? In home or in school? Where do you have your lunch? That you would write. And with whom do you have it? Whether with your parents or with your friends. And what do you eat in the afternoon lunch? We eat rice samba, chapati, yes, roti, yes. With whom do you have dinner? What do you like to have for dinner? So this, these are the questions for you kids. You can think and write. Okay. Do the members of your family and you have the same food habits? Are they different? If they are, how and why? You can write this is a general question for you. Okay. Then, which utensils is used to cook and cook food in your house? So here, a tumbler? No, it is used for storing water. Then a pot? No, nowadays we are not using pot in the earlier days, in the olden days we will be using pot to cook but nowadays no one is using and the glass we use to drink water yes so in this vessel we can use it for cooking and in pan yes and in this yes we can cook and in cooker yes we use so remaining and also here the yes here it is used for coffee or tea preparation yeah so remaining elements we we will not use for cooking either we use for storing water or to eat food yes clear with that then observe the following animals and their food discuss with your friends so here cow is eating grass fish is eating fish is eating some small fishes and some algae in the water sheep eats grass then elephant eats grass then the lizard eat cockroaches or you can say insects yes rabbit eats carrot then the lion eats lion hunts another other animals lion hunts other animals and eat them then the pigeon eats grains then the squirrel eats nuts yeah then the frog eats insects, that is grasshopper. Then the bird eats grains. Then the sheep eats grass. Okay. So some animals eat only food that they go get from plants. Those are called as herbivores. Those are called as herbivores. Herbivores animals means the animals which get the food from the plants, those are called as herbivores. And the animals which get food from other animals, those are called as carnivores. Remember this case. The animals which eat plants are called as herbivores. And the animal which eat animals are called as carnivores. For example, tiger, lion, vulture, they eat other animals. Yes? So those are called as carnivores and the animals like deer, rabbit, sheep, parrot, they eat plants that is grass, yeah. So they are called as herbivores. Clear with that? Okay, here. Salim has reared a cat at home. The cat comes near him mewing when Salim has his dinner. Salim gives milk to the cat. He knows that the cat is hungry. So, aren't there many animals around you? Make a list of the food they eat. For example, cow will eat grass or grains. Rabbit will eat carrot. Then frog will eat grasshopper, that is insect. Then bird will eat grains. Then the lion will eat deer. Okay, like this there are so many different animals which eat different food. Okay, so here we also need food to survive in the same way animals also need food to survive okay so last activity here here are pictures of animals and the food they eat 
match them by drawing lines so here elephant eats cane or bamboo yeah then frog eats grasshopper cat eats milk then the monkey eats banana then the cow eats grass then the rabbit eats carrot yes so develop the habit of feeding birds with grains yes so you may have seen in some parks some old age people will be feeding grains to the birds yes so in the same way you people also develop that habit of feeding birds or the animals okay if you go somewhere if you find some monkey or some any other animals you can give the grains or the food which you have like banana or anything okay so develop that habit of feeding the birds and animals okay kids so i hope you understand this chapter so the main thing is there are different types of animals which need different types of food in the same way we human beings also need food to survive okay and we have three different habits of food that is morning breakfast afternoon lunch and in the night we have dinner okay clear with this so this completes the chapter kids i hope you like this video thank you for watching i am going to see you in the next chapter with the next video thank you bye bye